Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video, it's not a review video. I mean, in a way it kind of is. I wanted to do a lash lift for maybe over two to three years because I've always thought that my eyelashes were super long and straight. Now I did find out that they are straight, but they're not super long. They're an average size. I still wanted to get it done. Um, I only wanted to do the perm, which was $65. But the lady, when I booked the appointment, when I got there, she was like, well, I recommend you do the tint because they can pop. And, you know, altogether, it was 80 bucks, which to me is pretty freaking expensive just for something that, I mean, I don't know. They say it lasts six to eight weeks. We are about to find out. So a lash lift, basically, you're just perming your lashes, kind of like when you do a perm in your hair for it to stay in whatever like if you want to straighten it or if you want to do a perm for curls it's just basically for you to perm your lashes in whatever shape it is that you or you know have a curly you want them so i've been wanting to do it because i have not yet to find a mascara that actually curls my lashes because of how straight they are i've even tried the um like the warming wan thingy doesn't work um so I was like, okay, this is last, that's last resort. And as you guys know, I suck at putting fake lashes on. It just never goes on correctly. Even if I trim them, even if they're magnetic, it just doesn't seem to work, at least for me. So I booked the appointment and I was like, we're doing this. Let's go. I went, I was very nervous just because, you know, you're not in control, or at least with me. Sometimes I can have a bit of a controlling problem, specifically when it's like on my body. Like when I don't have control of what's happening with me or in my body, it just kind of triggers my anxiety. So I was like, oh my God, how am I going to be able to keep my eyes shut for so long? Like when you fall asleep, of course you keep them shut. But as you're awake, like even when you try to close your eyes, like your eyes are going left, right, and everywhere because you're like, what the fuck? Excuse my language. So, <laughs> um... I was nervous. The lady called me down and she was like, oh yeah, this is fairly easy. I was asking her like how long she did it for, all these other questions. I asked her if the perm was like just like the hair perm. She was like, oh, it smells just like it. So she didn't say yes or no. She explained the process or what was going to get done and she said it should take about an hour or so, which it did. So I lay down. I have vertigo. You guys know wherever I lay flat, I'm dizzy, so I had to like wait a couple of minutes and not, you know, for my crap to adjust. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. It is embarrassing sometimes, but hey, it is what it is. It's just one of the medical conditions that I have. I've learned how to live with it, and you should too. Freddy Girl sucks. But anyhow, once we got there, she said that she was trying to measure to figure out how curly I wanted them. And according to that is how they put the thing that goes up here. She said with me, she used the extra large because I didn't want them that curl. They still curly. When I when they finished, I was like, oh my God. So I kind of wanted just like a small lift. I literally have like curl lashes. Excuse me. Which is great. If yours are naturally like that, that's wonderful. Mine's are not. So it took a bit of adjusting. Um, more to say that I'm really not excited about it. But anyhow, I laid there, she put the stuff. I don't think she cleaned them. Then again, I wouldn't know my eyes were closed. So, but she said she had to glue them. And after she glued them, she puts the perm and you wait 25 to 30 minutes. And then after that, she does the tinting. Well, that's all was great. Didn't feel any pain whatsoever. I was chilling. We was talking. I was hungry. So my stomach was rumbling too, which I was like, oh gosh. And then um, she was removing the stuff. And I guess like two of the hairs glued together or something. She could not get like a little lump or thing of glue out when she was cleaning them up and she was having trouble with that and as she pulled like my eye kind of lifted my leg kind of lifted a little bit and oh my god both eyes were burning i was like it burns first experience you don't want to experience that she was like oh it does oh my goodness oh my goodness i said yeah it does she was like oh i think it's the fumes or whatever and she kept like cleaning and my eyes at that point was like super watery so they're like crying on their own and i'm like freaking burns then i'm like am i gonna freaking go blind over this stupid lash lift okay whatever she was like okay just keep your eyes closed keep your eyes closed and she like wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe and then she was like okay we're gonna get you up so she got me to sit up with my eyes closed and then when i opened up my eyes i guess everything 
normalized i don't freaking know um i didn't put any drops any water and then she was like oh well and then make sure you don't wash your lashes or wet them for 24 to 48 hours i was like what and i did this at one o'clock so i'm like how the heck am i gonna wash my face so I ended up only washing my whole face except for this little section here. But the way I had to like clean my face was like down here first and then get like a rag to clean the top. It's way too much. I cannot do this every other month. And six to eight weeks, that's almost two months if they last or whatever. And I wash my face every day. So it's like, I wonder how long it's going to last. Um, so needless to say, it wasn't painful except for that little incident. And I don't know if everybody goes through that or not. I went through it. I, I'm, I'm afraid to go through it every so often because eventually it's like the chemicals going in your eye. And I don't mess around with any of my body with all this craziness. But I wanted to show you guys like how it's too curvy for me. And then I noticed that this eye was darker than this one. Even my best friend confirmed it. Even though the lady was like, no, they look the same to me. I'm like, mm, okay, whatever. Um, so that's what I did. And then over here and over here on both sides, some of the uh, like um, the hair, they're not curved. It's starting to like straighten, almost like they didn't all get to one accord. It's so freaking weird. Um, but I want to show you guys because I was like, mm, I don't like that. Let me see if I can get to this mirror here and show you guys you see it's like super curl and then when i close they're so curly and don't get me wrong alisa loves it she's like what did you do what kind of mascara you use but i'm like mm, i don't know they're way too cur too curvy so and then they look just like messy and i try to like brush them and even brushing them doesn't do anything like i can try to brush it right here right now and and that's an eyebrow brush. I don't have a mascara brush, but you don't do anything. So I'm not saying I'm like not satisfied with it. It's just not something I think I would like continue to do. But I wanted to share that with you guys so you know, you know what the process and what happened to me. And then maybe you can just ask more questions. Um, but yeah, that's it. I mean, what do you guys think? Does it go with me? Do you guys like it? Put it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.